almost, I think, thank you, by the way. You are welcome. And it's really nice to see everybody here. Um, so we're here to talk about Ward 7. We've got a couple of things going on in Ward 7, so I'm going to give you a little update first just on the overall ward because I haven't been here in last month. I think I was fortunate enough that Sandy, most of you probably met Sandy. Um, she is working at my LFR. She's the new Frank in Ward 7. And uh, she was here last month to talk about the things going on. But I want to touch base on a couple of them. You guys have probably noticed that we've gotten a lot of slurry work going on. Um, and I'd like to take a lot of credit for that. Probably can get some of the credit, but I know some of it's been scheduled in the past. But my way of working is to work in a positive fashion. So when I saw, and I actually pointed out the neighborhood over La Sierra Hills needed slurry finish to it or repaving of the streets. As that got done, I then sent a lot of thank you notes to Public Works. And then advised some of the next streets that I saw that needed some work done on it. So I'm trying to keep it in front of them in a very positive way and keep those things getting done. We've got two areas of our trees trimmed. So we're looking better on our trees, but if you have trees that are of issue in your area, give me an email, contact Sandy. I passed out a flyer, it's got Sandy's direct desk phone number on it, as well as my email. But I'm trying to work on get those, getting those things done so that we keep improving the quality of life within La Sierra. Um, you guys have saw the construction taking place at Five Points. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've got the Rite Aid building going up, the, the uh, cinder block there. Inside that center is also going to be a Dunkin' Donuts, one of the first ones to our area. It'll uh, relieve a little bit of pressure from our Starbucks on Riverwalk. It's going to have a drive through to it so that you can get your coffee pretty quick. I understand the coffee's great. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the one I'm enjoying the most coming in there is called Scratch Pizza. The gentleman that's a general manager, um, upper management at Baker's Burger, or is it Baker's? Baker's drive throughs and he's worked the last couple of years, from what I understand, formulate pizza dough and a spaghetti sauce. Um, and those items, it's, it's going to be a scratch homemade pizza. You're not, he's not going to be competition with the Little Caesars or Pizza Hut. It's going to be a gourmet style pizza. So I'm excited for that one. I think that'll be a good fit there. I do understand the AutoZone is still scheduled to be in there. Um, and I think the AutoZone and the Dunkin' Donuts and the Rite Aid bring value to that developer because he's bringing in that nationwide tenants that give them stability in the center so it helps him out. Um, across the street on the southwest corner behind Jack in the Box there's been a plan submitted. Sharon keeps asking me where's that plan? I want to know details. I want to know details. So far it's in a conceptual part. Got to go to the community development um, committee to get vetted and then once it gets vetted there and, and my colleagues get a chance to see the development then I'll come out to public. Quite a ways out before it'll actually start breaking ground. It seems that these things take about a year before anything really gets too much traction on it so we have time. Any questions on those couple of items? No? Um, one of the things I'm working on that's dear to my heart is safe travel, safe routes to schools, or as I will call them, equestrian trails in La Sierra Acres. The La Sierra Acres was incorporated into the city in the 60s. When it was incorporated into the city, it was promised to get sidewalks, trails, street lights, all those fixings that make the community part of a neighborhood or part of a city, and it's just been lacking. Uh, Councilman Perry and I have both got some neighborhoods that fit into that. So, <coughs> I've been working to get trail set up because our kids are currently. I thought you said I had all the time I wanted. <laughs> the next part. Okay. <laughs> um, so, so we we they, the cowboys over there asked me to go take a ride with them, and the trails are very choppy, and it does not lend itself in any of those neighborhoods or streets for the kids to get a chance to walk to school. Uh, without being in the middle of the street. I mean, literally, they have to walk in the street on those, in those areas. So we started formulating a plan. We've got meetings going on right now with Public Works and the Parks Department to start form formulating that plan and getting it down to, to reality, get it there. So those are going on. Free bolt drop-off corner, Golden and Stonewell. 
uh, on October 17th, next Saturday. See me after this meeting. I'm going to try to quick. See me after the meeting if you want more information on that. Doty Trust meeting on October 28th. Talk about stuff going on at the park. And 3101 app. So I'm going to cover that. RiversideSurvey.com. You want to tell your city how we're doing? See RiversideSurvey.com. Nice pause as we get ready to go into the new measure out. 